It's the views from the vault, live and direct, and it slaps the finest to fit into community built on caps. Sponsored in part by the best in the business. No suggestions of fitted to classics and vintage. New era sickness, fire in the mix, it's ridiculous. It ain't no secret to the dopeness. If you're not focused, you left hopeless. Speaking the science of drops and what's tops. Pierre, Leon, Jason from the vault, bringing you nothing but hot. Best of the best, exclusives and clean vision. It's a distinct mission in the embroidered thread of a system. To bring you nothing but the real, just link and get with it. All keepers, no sleepers, no weepers, you know what it is. BP merch work the sequence first, bringing the work with the fits. It's the moment you've been waiting for. It's dubs and somersaults. Welcome to a whole nother level of fitted. It's views from the vault. Hey guys, welcome to the vault. We are back with some more exclusive content. Uh, we are back today to review Hat Club's hometown collection. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Pierre, take it away. You know, I think it's debatable, but this might be one of the best concepts of the year. You know, listen, taking these uh, MLB logos and hooking them to different negro league teams is 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 a unique idea it hasn't been done yet right um i think they were executed pretty well and we wanted to kind of give side by side looks at the hats along with the inspiration just to kind of connect it all for people so you know i know that this wasn't a collection that was like hyped right certainly mm -hmm. not for the hype beast but it but for collectors and people that appreciate um well done caps that really have a meaning behind them uh this was a collection for you uh, you know, and obviously the three of us are big fans of Negro League Baseball, what it meant to uh, what it meant to the history of the game. And uh, I thought these were well done. So I figured we would, why, you know, why not? Why not show them off since I got the whole collection here in the vault? What do you guys think? Sounds okay. good. And Jason's where Jason, you're wearing one, right? I am. Of course, the Atlanta. <laughs> of course. That was the one that was most handy. Yeah, no, nah, that's cool. You guys ready to get started here? Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's pull them up. So we'll start here with the Chicago American Giants. Yeah. Clean. Nice hook, right? Great hat. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite side patches, too. It looks good. <coughs> Raised embroidery. Yeah. I know uh, Style really dug deep and did a lot of research on these because a lot of the photos are in black and white. Mm. So yeah, so it's good. I did talk to him a little bit about it too. I think Ebbets, Ebbets Field Flannels was one place that he went to to find some of the um, mm -hmm. uh, the the appropriate coloring and whatnot. So here you have a Cleveland Guardians. I don't know, uh, Leon wrote Indians there, but I think he meant Guardians. Um, mm -hmm. Hooked to the uh, Cleveland Buckeyes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they were probably still the Indians when they submitted these. <laughs> Maybe, right? Oh, that's not you. That you got that from them, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I should, have, I should have fact checked them. No, nah, it's okay. It's okay. But this is a, this is a solid looking hat. It is good little hook. And again, you're right, uh, Jason and 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 Leon. It, it took some it took some uh, work to get these right. You know, considering mm -hmm. a lot of these holes were in black and white, you had to do a little bit of research there. But oh, yeah, that's the, that's the Cleveland Indians hook to the Cleveland Buckeyes. Next up is the Detroit Negro League team. Mm, that's a good one. Detroit idea. Stars. This is a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to wear any of these. These are staying in the in, in the vault. So. Beautiful. Yep. All right. Probably, uh, I would say probably the most famous Negro League team. This one came out great, man. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Camera can't even pick it up. It's so good. There it is. Look at this. Love how you used the crown logo. Oh, so yeah. Monarch, Monarch's Very smart. Yeah. Ties it all in, right? Yeah. And actually, that side patch looks kind of similar to that little logo on the bottom, too. See? Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Really well done. So that's the Kansas City Monarchs. All right, moving over to Minnesota. The St. Paul Colored Gophers, and this is not a very colorful hat. Mm -mm. Nice. It's actually one of my favorites from the entire collection, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty smooth. It's nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. Very nice cap. Green under. All of them except for one have a green under. Which one is that, Jason? Uh, we'll get there. 
Do you remember? I do. Okay. Yeah, there's a reason why. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Leland's Chicago Giants. Hooked with the Cubs hat. Nice colors. Another good hook. Yeah. Top of there. All right. The Cincinnati Tigers. This one's smooth. Yeah. And that's my that's my favorite Cincinnati side patch. Nice choice of the Creds logo. Kind of mimics the one that's on the front of their jersey there. Yeah, it looks very similar. Yeah. It's got a similar build to it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This looks like something they could wear on field. It's a nice looking hat, man. I'm not a big Creds fan, but it makes total sense here. All right. Heading out to Milwaukee. Milwaukee uh, Bears. Just Colors are are a huge departure from uh no. from uh the Milwaukee Brewers colors. This one I really wouldn't I wouldn't think it was even a hook if you just showed it to me. Right. What what Go can you light. do? The colors right. are similar. Going light gold instead of athletic gold. Yeah. Yeah, and you got that that button is not gold. Mm-hmm. All right. Pittsburgh, the Crawfords. Another pretty famous team. Yeah, that's another famous team for sure. I love the white eyelets. Another mm-hmm. sharp looking hat. Great hook. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, Style, one of the guys that uh, created this collection in collaboration with T800, John from Hat Club. He's a St. Louis fan, and this one came out really nice. The St. Louis yeah. Stars. You notice the star on the side patch? Mm-hmm. Very clean, sharp-looking cap. Yeah. He had to make sure that one was extra good for himself. For I sure. love this hat, man. I, yeah. I wish I could have gotten a second one. This is one I'd like to wear. Mm-hmm. It's probably hard for him to wear a, a Cardinals hat in, in Royal. But. Mm. The Atlanta Black Crackers. Super slick. Mm-hmm. It's got a good retro feel to it. It does. All right. Going out to Queens. New York Cubans. And this color, mm. this color spot on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Very I'm nice. Sure I, I had to have picked this one up. I can't this remember. is a good hat, man. This is a good hat. I think I messed up. I don't think I got that one. All right, then we head out to Philadelphia. <laughs> We're still in the NL East territory. We got the Philadelphia Stars. I absolutely love the Philadelphia Stars logos, their jersey, all of it, man. It's so good. Mm. This cap came out really nice. The P kind of has the same feel as that filling the lower left of the slide. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice colors, great hat. I love that they use patches. Um, that would have been around in the era of the Negro League. On some of them. If they, if they could have, yeah. Yeah, on were, some of them. Not, available. You're right, on some of them. Oof. The Homestead obviously Grays. The, obviously, the Nationals weren't around then. Yeah. <laughs> they could have went Senators, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably one I, I don't know if I, if I would. I, I think I might have gone Senators, but. This is a nice looking hat, either way. It's a beautiful hat. This is a great looking hat. Yeah. All right. Next up is probably the panic hat of the pack. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Anytime you can get the Jackie Robinson 50 mm-hmm. on a side patch, for me, it's a must buy. I don't even want to pick this one up either, but. Pro- this is probably amongst the best hats in the collection. All right, then move along to San Diego. The San tiger. Diego Tigers. Hmm. This came out nice. Put the co- pop the colors in the side there that are in that logo. You know, it'd be nice to see them incorporate some orange here. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. 
feels like slightly amiss. You know? Mm-hmm. You could have even done that uh, outline on the front in orange. Yeah. Small miss, but still a fantastic looking hat. Mm-hmm. Now moving to San Francisco. That's a good one. This is this one's great too. This is amongst my favorites. The San Francisco Sea Lions. Mm-hmm. They split up the colors on the S and the F in San Francisco. Nice little patch there. This is a great looking hat, man. Great looking hat. I ain't mad at it. This is one hat that I think people didn't find super attractive, but I certainly like it, and I think it's a great hook. Mm-hmm. I do have that hat you see there, the Abbott's Field Flannels version. Oh, wow. Morovians. Nice looking hat, man. Well executed. It's a little footnote there for, for everyone. What's that? Uh, it was They were never a Negro League team, but they were a team that defeated the KKK in a baseball game. Wow. Well, that's uh, certainly meaningful. Mm-hmm. So th- this one's the non-green under. Yep, the Denver White Elephants. And you said, Jason, there's a reason why? Yeah, they didn't want to put a green under on a green hat. Gotcha. This is a nice looking hat, though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it is. I'm not usually a fan of that CR logo, but me neither. It's really clean in this. I love maybe because side, it's, the side patch looks great on here too. Maybe because it's tonal, and it's almost hidden. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one may be my uh, my favorite. Honestly, it may be the yeah. E White Giants. When I Lids know. Did, I... When Lids did their Negro League collection, I picked up a bunch of Eli Giants caps and jerseys. Mm-hmm. What were you going to say, Jason? I was just going to say, I, I know I'm nitpicking here. This is one I almost would have preferred without a side patch. I kind of like it. But if you did take that side patch off, you wouldn't even be able to tell it was an Orioles hat. Right. Yeah. Super cool. All right. The Brooklyn Royal Giants, which gets me to wondering, why didn't they just use a Brooklyn? <laughs> Phase I out the Yankees. Know. Huh? Phase out the Yankees. No, I uh, mean, a Brooklyn Dodgers would have probably made more sense, right? Yeah. To me, it would. Not a bad looking hat, but they're probably like, I got to force a Yankee in here so we get the Yankees. I wonder, if, I wonder if the Royal Giants used, used that NY logo at some point. Uh, no, I think like... The New York Highlanders isn't that isn't that one of the teams? New York Highlanders was uh, what the Yankees started as. Oh, that's yeah, right, my fault. What was it? Was there another New York Negro League team? Oh, there's probably several. There was a few. The Cubans are the most famous. Yeah. All right. This is one of my favorite ones. Yeah. The Jacksonville Red Caps. Hooked up via Tampa Bay Rays. I just love that front logo. Yeah, really nice looking hat. So sharp. Getting to the home <laughs> stretch here, guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This one's for Leon. Mm-hmm. Chatham. The Chatham Colored All Stars. Hooked to a Toronto Blue Jays cap. How far is Chatham from downtown Toronto? Uh, in traffic, probably two hours. Normal drive, oh. probably about an hour. Oh, so it's a ways. Yeah. Gotcha. Nice looking cap, right? Yep. It is. All right. We're getting into the uh, last six, fellas. This is a great looking hat. I'm not just saying it because it's a mm-hmm. uh, Red Sox hat. This thing is clean. Yep. Boston Royal Giants. Look to a Red Sox cap with that 61 All-Star game patch. This one's beautiful. This one's, this one's right up there. Amongst the best. All right. Now we head down south to Houston. 
the Newark Eagles. Another nice oh. kid. Oh, that was the panic of the group just because it's Astros. That's crazy, man. I know. That's like the that's not that's barely top ten. I know. <laughs> oh, well. Holy maze. Angels with the Birmingham. Okay. Yeah, there's there's nothing really close to Birmingham, Alabama. So they had I'll to... tell you what's definitely not close to Birmingham. <laughs> Los Angeles? Yeah. Yeah. But there's no way you could leave Birmingham off. No. <clears throat> off the roster, so. Very nice looking hat, though. Well, Tampa's probably the closest city to Birmingham, huh? All right, now we head out to uh, Austin uh, for the Austin Senators. This thing is clean so as hell. Good. So good. So mm-hmm. nice. Uh, the cool cowboy hat because uh, the Austin Senators used the cowboy hat logo as well. Yep, this is a nice-ass hat, man. Mm-hmm. Down to the final two, fellas. The Steelheads. Yep. Whew. Look at that beauty. Almost the same logo. So yeah. the drop shadow. Pretty much. Really is the same. All right. And guys, to round out this set, we end with the Cuban stars. It's a clean Marlins hat, that's for sure. Oh yeah. Really clean. So that's the set, man. I can't do one of my uh, one of my like group picks. Like, there's <laughs> like thirty of these things. Right. But um, you know, listen, uh, a really great set. I think these guys did a fantastic job uh, <laughs> putting these together. A lot of thought went into this. You know, a couple misses. You know, a couple misses. Not glaring, but listen, you got to call them out when you see them. There's there was two clear misses for me, um, that were that were small but still misses. But overall, man, I thought this was a really fantastic set. I went all in on these guys. I think you all anticipated me doing that, considering uh, the connection to the Negro Leagues and that there's a lot of thought and meaning into these. But, man, what a fantastic job. So mm-hmm. why don't we shout those two guys out? You got you. got The other gentleman's name was? Steve. He goes Steve, by right? Os- Osprey's. Uh... I knew him by his Instagram. I didn't know him by his first yeah. name, so I certainly didn't want to hack yeah. that up. So Steve in style, right? Yep. Osprey's F- FB on instagram yeah we'll put that in and leon if you could make sure that their instagram go into the description no problem mm-hmm. so if folks want to check out their instagrams they can but fantastic job guys and i want to also thank t800 john for facilitating this this is right. not an easy project to undertake um but certainly um did a really really fine job putting these together um and guys i want to thank you too uh for joining me this evening um to record this and leon i want to thank you for putting together the visuals um to get us ready for this episode and uh, with that, Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, let us know um, which of the caps in the hometown uh, collection are your favorites. Um, views from the vault.com to get your official merchandise from us. For Jason, Leon, and Pierre, we're signing out, guys. Stay fitted. See everybody. Peace. Enjoy 15% off all products with the code VFTV15. Brought to you by VFTV.